According to the National Institutes of Health, as many as 5 million Americans may suffer from gastroparesis. It is stomach paralysis, and it makes it very difficult to digest food. It affects people with diabetes and Parkinson's disease, but for one-third of the patients, the cause is just unknown. But now there is a treatment that is giving people their lives back. Erica Davila has had stomach problems her whole life. She was diagnosed with irritable bowel syndrome. The pain and nausea became so bad, though, she had to leave her job as an operating room nurse. It's a horrible way to live. I just, I felt like I couldn't be myself anymore. And you know, didn't have an interest in food. Finally, she met Dr. Terilyn Scott Winfell, who diagnosed her with gastroparesis, a rare condition caused by nerve dysfunction that results in stomach paralysis. The most severe cases require a feeding tube, an option Erica and her doctor hope to avoid. So with gastroparesis, you have delayed accommodation, so food um, can't be distended and made room for, and then it's not being ground up and pushed out. Medication and diet therapy didn't work, so a gastric stimulator, similar to a pacemaker for the heart, was inserted into Erica's stomach. It sends an electrical impulse to jumpstart the stomach muscles. And it kind of gives the stomach a shock to try to get those nerves shocked to give the muscles the impulse to be able to move and to, to contract to push food through the stomach. Life is far better now. I'm able to eat more than I used to. And practice martial arts with her husband, Brian. Pretty much. Back on the mat fighting. Uh, Erica is a fighter, for sure. Okay. Doctors use at least five different tests to diagnose for gastroparesis, and they rule out conditions that may cause similar symptoms. People with gastroparesis are encouraged to eat a modified diet that is low in sugar, fiber, dairy, and wheat. I think the martial arts is optional. Yeah, probably so. Yeah. All right, let's take a live